I'm standing in an IVF laboratory and the big background noise you hear behind me is the air filtration system that's keeping this air clean so that we can make embryos. Today I want to talk about what does it mean when you're going through IVF and you get a report back that you have an embryo that's arrested. What exactly does an arrested embryo mean? Okay, much better out here. Let's talk a little bit about what's happening in the IVF laboratory. So when you get a report back that says your embryo is arrested, what's happened? Well, first of all, we know it's gone through fertilization. That's what creates an embryo itself, the bringing together of the egg and the sperm, and that's a one-time event. But really, most of the life of an embryo is spent under observation, under ideal culture conditions. What's culture? Culture is cultivation, culture is growth changes in the physical appearance. There's some certain time points that we'll usually check in with embryos because they run along a very predictable course. And in general, as they start out as a single cell, so that egg and that sperm transitioning from coming together into an actual single cell embryo that's called a zygote, they'll go through some very predictable changes at that point. And so they'll go from one cell to two cells, to four cells, to eight cells. That first part takes about three days, and then they'll go through some expanded culture, we call that, and they'll reach all the way out to a very end-stage embryo called a blastocyst. So when an embryo rests, what's happened is it's gotten to a certain stage, but it hasn't gone further. So let's take a look at an example of that. Behind me now, we have a time-lapse image of an embryo. So this is a sped-up version of what happens under normal culture conditions. And as you'll notice here, there's an embryo that's going from one cell and it's expanding into two cells. So that's the first what we call cleavage of this embryo, showing us that it had the ability to actually stay on track and make it into the next stage, which is a two cell embryo. So let's reorientate ourselves a little bit on where we're at in the IVF process. The day the eggs are removed from the follicles in the ovary, they will go immediately over to the laboratory. And we call that in the laboratory, day zero. That's the same day that the eggs and sperm are brought together. The next day is the first day that we'd possibly see an embryo created. That's called day one. So in parallel to the post-egg retrieval recovery at home, in the laboratory, the embryos are growing. Here, we're going into four cells. And again, another time point check-in. This would be normally achieved by culture day two. So this is a sped up version of what's happening. From four cells, the embryo will become eight cells, and that's an event that's usually achieved by culture day three. And then there's a, usually a check-in in two more days where the embryo becomes what's called a blastocyst. Now that embryo consists of hundreds of cells, and it's kind of reached its limit into what we normally achieve in the artificial environment of the human IVF laboratory. Now, if at any point, going from that one cell to hundreds of cells, no, organized embryo with hundreds of cells, it doesn't meet these time points or these check-ins and it actually stays at a certain developmental stage. For example, it stays at a eight cell and doesn't go further with time. That's an arrested embryo. It's arrested its growth. That's what we're referring to when we talk about arrested embryos. And what that tells us is that that embryo is no longer capable of growth and it's natural programmed course is to continually grow. So it becomes what we would call non-viable. It's not growing and eventually the cells will break down as you're seeing in this picture here. It's disorganized and there's very little, you can see very little movement in terms of things happening and that's an arrested embryo. Arrested embryos basically mean they're non-viable they don't create pregnancies, they will not create babies, and if they happen early enough in the culture, they won't even make it to a stage where it would be like a biopsyable embryo to do genetic testing on. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The Embryo MD.